night has fallen when fear is calming still you're calling me when faith is lost and my hope exhausted you will be my strength when my mind says i'm not good enough god you're enough for me i've decided i'm not giving up cuz you won't give up on me you won't give up on me your love is holding on and it won't let go Good to have you as, again with us this morning. I sure do hope that you're enjoying summertime. How do you like that hot weather, huh? I think we could use a little bit of rain. How about you? Well, listen, this is going to be our last week talking about being a disciple. So I want you to just get ready to hear the message today. And then next week, we're going to start a brand new lesson in July. So be ready for our new lesson. And I just want to give you a heads up that Hopefully, we'll all be getting back together in Children's Church real soon. So keep an eye out for the announcements that might be coming up about us coming back to Children's Church. Listen, in our lesson today about disciples, we're talking about disciples who stay connected to Jesus. Our point in the lesson today is, I am a disciple when I lead people to live like Jesus. Now listen, one of, this is just something that disciples do. We lead other people to live like Jesus. But in order for us to lead other people to live like Jesus, well, of course, we have to live like Jesus ourselves. Now, in order for us to live like Jesus, we have to stay real close to him, real connected to Jesus. There's a story in the Bible that says that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. Well, you know, if a branch falls off of a tree or if a branch is cut from a tree, what happens to that branch? That branch dies, doesn't it? In order for that branch to stay strong and healthy, it has to stay connected 
to the vine. Well, Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. And so in order for us to be good disciples of Jesus Christ, we have to stay real connected to him. So let's see what our memory verse says today. Our memory verse comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. And it says, follow my example just as I follow the example of Christ. So you and I follow Christ's example, but what Christ wants in the earth is for others to follow our example. So if you want to be uh, a person who others can follow, then we'll have to be good examples of Christ, won't we? And we can do that when we stay real close to Christ and we stay vitally connected to him. So listen, I want you to go to the website, pull up the lesson today, get all that good information, print out your challenge card, fill out the back, hold on to it until we get back together. Bring your challenge card in and you're going to get a whole lot of dots. Listen, boys and girls, have a happy day, happy week. Enjoy the sunshine. Hopefully we'll get some rain. You can enjoy that. But until we meet again, y'all have a blessed day and a good week. I love you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.